Hello students, welcome to my channel. Kindly subscribe my channel Engineers Academy. I need your support. Now I am going to solve this problem 1237. So two rockets starts from rest at the same elevation. Rockets A starts vertically at 20 meter per second square for 12 second when T is less than 12 second. Let's say that this is for rocket A, right? So I will solve this problem first for rocket A. So for rocket A when uh, time is less than 20 second, right? So for time less than 20 second, it accelerate with, it accelerates vertically with 20 meter per second square rate, right? And then maintains a constant speed, right? So after 12 second, it maintains a constant speed, right? So if I write that uh, when T is greater than 12 second, the acceleration, if the speed is constant, so the acceleration will be zero, right? And similarly, the rocket, the rocket B inter information is given, but we will look into this uh, a bit later, right? So first we will solve this problem for rocket A. So it is said that construct the A, T, V, T and S, T graph for each rocket until T equals to 20 second, right? So we have to solve this for time equals to 20 second, right? So we have to draw A, T, V, T and S, T graph for both the rockets. And it is said that what is the distance between the rockets when t is 20 seconds, right? So we have to find the distance between the two rockets. So we will look into this uh, at the end of this problem, right? So first, uh, when the time is less than 12 seconds, so acceleration is this 20 meter per second, right? So we can write that this is dv by dt acceleration. So we can write that 20, if this is dv by dt, so I can write, I can multiply this side with dt and we can integrate this and let's say that if I integrate this from 0 to v and from 0 to t right so this is v and this will give us 20 t right so this is the velocity function for time less than 12 seconds and similarly if we look into this so then we can write that if the acceleration is constant right so then the velocity if the acceleration is 0 so then the velocity will be constant right so if we write that dv by dt is equal to 0, right? So this means that change in velocity will be constant, right? And that velocity will be equal to, that will remain, uh, we, we can find that velocity by using this equation, right? So the, this uh, is the velocity equation until 12 second, right? So the velocity at 12 second will be 20 into 12. So this gives us 240 meter per second, right? So this means that when the rocket achieves this velocity until 12 seconds, so after 20, uh, 12 seconds, the will, this velocity will remain constant, right? So after 12 seconds, the velocity will remain constant, that is 240 meter per second, and the acceleration will be zero, right? Similarly, when the, if we want to find the S of t, the s function, right? So this means that dv is ds by dt, right? So we can write that ds is 20t dt and we can integrate this. So this will be from 0 to s and this will be from 0 to t. This will be s and this will be 20t square divided by 2. So this will be 10t square, right? From 0 to t. And similarly, if the velocity is constant, right, so we can write that this will be ds by dt, which is 240 dt, and we can integrate this. So now this is for time greater than 12 seconds. So the initial conditions are time 12 seconds to t, and we have to find the initial condition for this ds by using this function, right. So now we will find s at 12 seconds, right. So s at 12 seconds will be 10 into 12 whole square, so this will give us 1440 meters, right? So the S at 12 second is 1440, right? So these are the initial condition for time greater than 12 second, right? So at T equals to 12 second, the position of the rocket A is 1440 meters, right? So we will integrate this from 1440 to S. So this is S minus 1440 and this will be, if we integrate this, so then this will be 240 t and this will be from 12 to t. So we can write that this is, uh, if we apply these conditions, so then this will be 240 t 
minus 240 into 12 and this will become plus right. So, if we solve this so then this will be 240 t minus 1440. So, now uh, this is the velocity function when time is less than 12 second and this is the position function when time is less than 12 second right. So, now we can plot these two right. So, if I plot this let us say that this is my velocity curve right. So, let us say if this is the velocity in meter per second and this is the time in seconds right. So, for from 0 to 12 second the velocity is the velocity function is 20 t right. So, this means that the velocity at 12 second is 240 right. So, let me write that somewhere is let us say 12 second and let us say somewhere here is 240. So, this is the velocity curve from 0 to 12 second and this is 240 right and after 12 second the velocity will remain constant right. So, this means that until 20 second let us say somewhere here is 20 second right. So, then this will remain constant right. So, this will become straight horizontal line right. So, this is the V of t uh, graph for rocket A right. So, let us say that I write that this is rocket A. Similarly, if we uh, draw the A of t curve for this right. So, this V of t. So, the A of t curve is very simple right. So, we can draw it uh, like this as well. So, let us say if I draw that. Now, let us say that the for t less than 12 second the acceleration is 20 right. So, let us say that somewhere here is 12 second this is t in second and this is acceleration in meter per second square. So, the acceleration is constant for this time interval when time is less than 12 second and that acceleration is 20 right. So, we can write directly a horizontal line. So, this is 20 and then after when time is greater than 12 second the acceleration is 0 right. So, this will become 0 and until 20 second this will remain 0 right. This is the acceleration curve right and now if we draw the S of t curve. So, this is S in meters and this is t in second. So, now this is the uh, function s of t function when time is less than 12 second right. So, when s when t is 0 so s is 0 right. So, this is the initial point and when t is 12 second so the s is 1440 right. So, let us say that somewhere is 12 second. So, somewhere here let us say is 1440 meter and since it is a second degree curve. So, it will not be a straight line but it will be a curved line right. So, it will be like this. And then after 12 second it is a straight line with a slope of 240 right and let us say that if you want to find the position after 20 second right. So, we will use this equation right. So, S 20 is equal to 240 into 20 minus 1440. So, this is 3360 right and this is meter. So, after 20 second let us say that somewhere here is 20 second right and let us say that we have to draw straight line right and this straight line should be tangent to this second degree curve right. So, from 0 to 12 second we can write that this function is from 0 to 12 second <coughs> this function is 10 t square and after that this is a straight line curve uh, this is a straight line with this 240 t minus 1440 right. So, this is v t this is a t and this is s t and when s is when time is 20 seconds so the rocket a has traveled 3360 meters from its starting position. Now, we have to draw the A t, V t and S t graph for rocket B right. So, for rocket B it says that rocket B accelerates at 15 meter per second square until reaching a constant speed of 150 uh, meter per second right. So, let us say that initially the acceleration of rocket B is 15 meter per second square 
right? So let's say if I draw the graph of acceleration for this rocket B, right? So if we draw that graph, let's say that I draw it somewhere here, right? So initially the acceleration is constant, right? And that acceleration is 15 meter per second. Let's say this is acceleration meter per second square and this is time. But we in for this rocket B case, we do not know the time yet, but it is said that accelerates at 15 meter per second square until reaching a constant speed of when it reaches a constant speed. So then after that, the acceleration will become zero, right? So when the acceleration will become zero, so then the velocity is 150 meter per second right so we will find the time let's say that this is time in second so let's say that somewhere here is the t dash right so we have to find the t dash so if the acceleration is 15 meter per second so we can write that this will be dv by dt so we can write that this is 15 dt and if we integrate this so if we will have to integrate this from 0 to v and this is from 0 to t right so this will be v and this will be 15 t right and when the velocity reaches 150 right so when the velocity reaches 150 so we can equate this to 150 right so this is 15 t equals to 150 right so let's say at that particular time the time is t dash right so t dash will be 150 divided by 15 so this gives us the t dash is 10 second right so from this given data the rocket b travels for with an acceleration of 15 meter per second square until the 10 second time and after 10 second the velocity becomes constant right so now we know that this t dash is 10 second right so now we can write that the time is less than 10 second Right, so when the time t is less than 10 seconds, so the, the acceleration of the rocket b is 15 meter per second square, right? <clears throat> and this is the velocity function when the time is less than 10 seconds. And similarly, now if you want to find by using this function, we can find the s of t function. So then this will be ds into 15 t dt and we can integrate this. This will be from 0 to s and this will be from 0 to t. This will be s 15 t square divided by 2. So 15 t square divided by 2. So 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 t square, right? So this is the position function for time less than 10 second. And now when time is greater than 10 second, the velocity is 150 meter per second. This is given, right? So if we want to find the position function after 10 seconds, so then this will be ds. 150 into dt and we have to integrate this but first we have to find the initial condition for this right so the initial condition for time is from 10 to t and we have to find the position at 10 second right so this will be s using this uh, function right so this will be 7.5 into 10 whole square so this is 750 meters Right, so this means oh, while using this integration, so we have to integrate this from 750 to s. So when we integrate this, so then this will be s minus 750 equals to this will be 150 t, and this will be from 10 to t, right? So this is s, this will be 150 t, and this is 150 t minus. 150 into 10 and this will come on the other side so this will become plus 750 so this is the position function after t greater than uh, 10 second right so now if you want to find the position of the final position of the rocket after 20 seconds so we have to put t equals to 20 in this equation right so this will be 150 into 20 minus 750 so this will give us the final position of the rocket b when the time is 20 seconds. So this comes out to be 2250 meters. Now this is the AT graph for rocket B, right? So now if you want to draw the VT 
graph for this rocket V. So let's say that again these are the axes. Let's say this is V in meter per second and this is T in second. So initially the velocity function is this from velocity is 15 T right so and this is until 10 second right so I will write let's let's say that somewhere here is 10 second right and the velocity after 10 second is 150 right so let's say that somewhere here is 150 right so I have to join this by a straight line right so this is 150 and then when t is greater than 10 seconds so the velocity remain is 150 second right so until 20 second let's say the velocity remain constant right so this is 150 so this is the v of t curve for rocket b and let's say that if you want to draw the s of t curve so this will be s of t let's say this is s in meters and this is t so initially the s this is s function that is 7.5 t square right so and when s is when t is equal to 0 s is 0 and when t is equal to 10 second s is 750 right so let's say that somewhere here is let's say somewhere here is 10 second right so 750 this is 750 and this will be a second degree curve right and then when s is 20 second this will remain straight line right and this line will be tangent to this curve right so let me draw this straight line first right so let's draw it like this like this right so now if we uh, write the equation so from 0 to 10 second the velocity the position function is 7.5 t square and from 10 to 20 second this is 150 t minus 750 right so now in the problem we are asked that what is the distance between the rockets when t is 20 second right so the rocket this is the rocket a right so this is rocket a and this is the position of rocket b right so what is the difference in both the rocket position right so we have to find this change right so let's say that this is this is s a let's say and let's say this is s b right so uh, we have to find that change so that change is s b minus r we can say that s a minus s b right so s a is greater than s b this is 360 minus 2250 this comes out to be 1110 meters so this means that rocket b is 1110 meters ahead from rocket a so this is the solution of this particular problem